Hi everyone! In this video you are going to learn what are the types of MQTT brokers, what are the key architectural requirements to look at when choosing the MQTT broker, how to find the perfect broker for your IoT application. Let's get going! Let us start with understanding the primary use cases for an MQTT broker. The most common use cases for MQTT and MQTT brokers are in IT applications. In fact, MQTT is the de facto standard for IT use cases. Thanks to the efficient nature of the protocol, MQTT is deployed across various verticals and use cases – connected cars, smart manufacturing, logistics, telecommunications, and other industries. What are the types of MQTT brokers? Currently, an MQTT broker is available in the following options – open source, commercial, cloud-managed, general-purpose brokers with MQTT support. You can see the examples of each type on the screen now. Let us now move on to how to choose the best MQTT broker. An effective way to evaluate software technology is through architectural requirements, also known as non-functional requirements. Let us look at the main architectural requirements through which you can compare MQTT brokers. Number 1. Scalability. When evaluating the scalability of the MQTT broker, look for native support for the publish subscribe pattern to avoid spaghetti architecture, linear scalability to avoid abrupt infrastructure costs when handling incremental growth, and the high number of topics and concurrent connections to help teams prioritize the business logic over managing lower level components. Number 2. MQTT Broker Security When evaluating the security of the MQTT broker, look for user authentication with third-party systems. This helps secure and maintain credentials data independent of the broker. TLS secured communication between broker clients and also between brokers in a cluster. It prevents eavesdropping and loss of data. Nesting of authentication logic it creates flexibility for a variety of use cases with custom logic for authenticating and authorizing clients. Resilience. What to look for? Fault tolerance at multiple levels, broker cluster cloud as IT environments are prone to network outages and disruptions. Masterless cluster architecture as master slave architecture suffers from long recovery times which hurts application availability and performance. While we closely looked at scalability, security and resilience of MQTT brokers as primary architectural requirements, there are other ones you can see on the screen now. You may find a detailed overview of them in the full blog post linked in the video description. Now we know the types of MQTT brokers and the main architectural requirements, so let us compare the MQTT brokers against these requirements. You can see a comparison table on the screen now. From an architectural perspective, it's clear that enterprises should choose an MQTT broker that scales without compromising on the security and resilience of the application. The ability to tweak the parameters of the broker and integrate with enterprise systems like Kafka can be very powerful for a business. While resilience, security, flexibility and scalability are key, it's important that the MQTT broker you choose is easy to use and manage, manually and programmatically. HiveMQ has 100% compliance with the MQTT 3.1.1 and 5 standards, while offering highly specialized professional services and 24-7 support to 150-plus IoT customers across the globe. Follow the link above to find out more about HiveMQ. Check out the full article on choosing the best MQTT broker for your IT application. It is linked in the description below. Subscribe to our channel for more MQTT content.